here are some examples that my students um, created, and I happened to find them in my old box of art artwork from them that I had kept. This is what we're going to be doing today. Um, as you can see, we're going to be tearing and ripping. This is one example. Here's another example. And while I have these pieces up, I'm going to show you how when we get to the point where we're cutting and ripping shapes, when you do glue them down, this person creates interest and all of these shapes seem to be pointing to this red area here. And again, that's a technique I'll show you in a minute. This one was fun. Can you see all of the different beautiful textures? You can splatter your paint too. Um, when I get into the demo, you'll see what I mean. You can also use crayon on top with of your paint when it dries. You can use pastel on top. It creates just beautiful, beautiful texture and movement. This one, the student, instead of using irregular shapes to cut out, you see how she cut out a figure here to add a lot of fun and add interest at a focal point. And this student decided to use the sun, the circle, as her or his focal point. And then all the shapes seem to congregate and visually bring us into that. 